What is up everybody, Visual Timmy here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a white outline to anything in Procreate. This will work for creating your own sticker outlines. This will work for creating outlines around text and any lettering projects that you might have. It's a very simple process and only takes a few steps. I'm gonna actually show you a couple ways how to achieve this look and that'll make it easier for you to choose whichever one works best for your workflow. Let's jump right in. Here we have a little dollar, well, $100 bill that I made for an animation. Let's say we wanna make this into a sticker. Now, most of the time, stickers have a little white outline around them, and that's useful for the printers, and it helps them to know where to cut so that your design doesn't get cut off. So I'm gonna show you how to do that really simply. Go ahead and take your layer, duplicate it, so that you have a second dollar bill right behind the first. Now what we'll do is choose an all white color, come over here and press alpha lock, then press fill layer. Now we've got a full white layer version of our money. Tap on that, turn alpha lock back off, come over here to adjustments, hit the Gaussian blur, and turn it up to about 20%. Now grab your selection tool, come down here to automatic, and tap and drag to adjust how big you want your sticker outline to be. The blue part will be roughly how much outline will be sticking outside of your object, but it's not exactly perfect to where the dollar was. Since we use Gaussian blur, it tends to round the corners, and so we could adjust how much of that we want in here. I think right here looks good, so I'm gonna let go, come over here to layers, turn off the blurred layer, create a new layer, Tap on the screen here and choose fill layer. And just like that, we've got our white outline. Another way you can do this is by using our blurred version here and duplicating the blurred version two or three times. Then using pinch to collapse all those into a single layer and duplicate it a few more times. You can keep doing this to eventually create a perfect outline around your object. Now, personally, I think it's neater and quicker to do it the other way, and it's a lot less random because as you can see, sometimes you get these weird jagged edges that you have to start experimenting with to clean them up. At this point, you might as well use a hard edge brush and just outline the thing yourself, which takes us to the other option. The other option is to just outline it yourself. It takes a little bit more time, but you get to be a little bit more precise on how you want your lines to look. A little bit messy, but just like that, you can have your white outline. From here, you can also use your distort tool, your transform tool set to distort, and you can adjust it slightly and get your outline exactly how you want. You might need to go back and fill in some of the gaps like this, but overall, that will get you an outline around whatever object you want. Now let's do it with some text. So I came up here, pressed add, add text, and we have our Timmy text right here. So that we can see our outline, I'm gonna press A, press our color up here and turn it to black. Now we've got our Timmy word and we wanna outline that. Here's a quick thing that you might not know. You can come up to your layers. You can duplicate your Timmy text. Choose the bottom version of your Timmy text. Press edit text. Press the A here. And right here, there's a little O that's outlined. You can press on that to outline your text. From here, you can come up to your color and change it to white. Boom, now we have an instant outline on the Timmy text. Well, this might not be enough because if you do want a sticker, you're gonna need them to connect. So here's what we can do. If we turn off our text, we can see that the Timmy outline is only an outline. That can be useful, but we want a full white background around the Timmy text. So we're gonna use our first method. We're gonna duplicate our Timmy text. We are going to rasterize it. Then we're going to press invert so that it's white. And then we're gonna come over here to our adjustments. Gaussian blur and crank up that Gaussian blur. This time we might crank it up a little bit further. Might crank it up to 20, 25, 
Just depends on what you're doing. I think 25 looks pretty good. From here, you're going to grab your selection tool again, set to automatic, and start selecting. This time, you can select from the outside and press invert to get your selection, or you can select from the inside. And here, you can see that we have a outline that goes around fully our text. By cranking it up, we can help to fill in some of these gaps down here, and that is completely up to you on how much white outline you want around your object. Now, if it's a sticker, we don't want little hanging pieces like this. We want them to be pretty rounded and clean because that's good for the printer, and that'll help your sticker not to get ripped. So I think that looks good right there. And we do the same thing. We create a new layer, we fill that layer, and we turn off the blurred. Now, we have our little Timmy sticker, and we have our perfect outline that's perfect for getting cut and perfect for just looking like your typical bold sticker. This same thing would apply if you wanted to get fancy with your own lettering, which I'm not very good at, then you can duplicate it and follow the steps that I just showed you to get outlines around your hand lettered work as well. I hope that this video helped. If you learned something, please press subscribe. If you didn't, go ahead and press the like button because why not? Hope to see you in the next video.